Hey everybody, G Bear here. I'm still out here, but I'm packing up, getting ready to move on out. Tomorrow is a work day. As you can see on my solar charger over there, I'm uh, getting 13.5 volts. I still haven't cleaned them. Um, that should be up higher, probably 13.9 to 14.1 is usually what I see with good clean solar panels. But the sun is almost directly overhead right now. And you can see all my stuff laid out in front of me here for this experiment. Let me see if I can't uh, adjust this down a little bit. There we go. I want to get keep the solar controller in there. So this is what I was telling you about yesterday. I got this um, ballast out of uh, a Gen Air stove, and, uh, or an oven, I should say. And... Uh, this uh, usually, uh, what it does is it's supposed to kick up the voltage going into the capacitors. And uh, here you see the capacitors I got out of there. Uh, those will be for a future experiment. And, um, and these are pretty good size. They are uh, 1.5 kilovolts and 1.6 kilovolts, 1.5, 1.6. And uh, then on this side, I've got the uh, blocks with the resistors already in them. So these were wired across from here to here and gave me the, uh, or gave the stove the power it needed to heat the elements. So um, as you can see on here, it says top, and then we have low and high. So th that's for um, low setting on the oven or high setting on of an element so I'll be playing with those in the future but for right now let's get to this experiment and uh, as you see, remember yesterday uh, what I did was uh, let's see if I can get this thing to go up here I have my light bulb hanging there I used it last night and we're going to unscrew that and the same thing I did yesterday we're going to Take the red probe and connect to that little center pole down at the bottom down there. And then we're going to take the black and try to get it onto the threads. There we go. We are on there. And uh, now i got my two probes hanging down. And we'll go over to here to see the voltmeter and the solar. All right, so I'm sorry for bumping the camera like that. But I'm in tight quarters here. Anyway, here's what we're going to do first. If we got the uh, meter on, and I think what I'll do is I'll use these capacitor banks to hold that up a little bit so you can see it better. I don't want to trap my wires underneath here. That's better. Okay, so we got our probe set on 20. And I'm going to connect my black to my black. And this is going to show me my solar panel output, which we already know because we can see it on the controller. But just to show you uh, that uh, there's no, nothing tricky here, we're going to plug the light socket in to the 12 volt junction. And there we go. 13.9 volts is uh, what the uh, gauge says can't trust these gauges really uh, that much because they are cheapos from uh, Harbor Freight. I shouldn't say cheapos, I should say freebies. Anyway, uh, here we are and we've got this set up. So now, if I can move this over just a hair so you can still see it. Now what I want to do is we're going to take the ground and connect it to the case of our ballast. And the positive goes to the input port. Okay, we see there wasn't that much change in the voltage. Now I'm going to take my short lead here on the positive, and I'm going to connect from the outgoing pin to my light switch. And I just want to show you, there's nothing fancy here. It's just a an old exterior uh, light fixture. And then I got my ground cable here, and I keep them wound up to store them easier. 
and we're going to collect and connect that one to the white wire because that is an AC voltage LED. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry, it's on here. So this is a a 50 watt light bulb, LED light bulb, and we are hooked up to our switch. The switch is in the off position. And now I'm going to connect the ground to the casing of that ballast. And there we are, we are hooked up. Now hopefully when I flip the switch, that light will come on. Uh, oh, before I do that, I want to show you, with, we got our 13.9 volts going in. Let's change this over to 200 volts AC. I'm going to leave my ground connector let's see yeah I'll leave my ground connector on the casing and I'm going to take the positive and go to the output side here and look at that 39.3 volts AC current coming out all right now that's going to light my light bulb hopefully there it is you saw it come on switch it off there it is it's off Switch it on, and it's on. So with these cheap 45 watt, um, 12 volt DC solar panels, I've got three 15 waters up on the roof of here. I showed you those yesterday. I'm putting those through this little ballast, and I'm pulling. Uh, well, it's it's dropped now to 35.7, 30 to 35.9. Um, that's understandable because the light is requiring some of that voltage to run uh, but anyway you can see that I can get lighting AC lighting off of that now if I had a couple more of these I try hooking them in series and see if that steps up the current any I'm sure it should but uh, that'll be another experiment down the line that's it for now time to go get an ice water